Okay, here we have Valentine. We're gonna go through a little bit of her commands. Obviously, she's only three months old. She's still quite young, but she has been introduced to some some nice basic obedience things. So we have worked a little bit on the place command. She loves place. She does do it. We've worked with a couple different places. And it does not have to be a bed. It can be a cot like this. It can be a bed. It can be a towel. Place can be anything, anything that you can you know define space for them. So I'll we'll show you. Want to get the treats out to work with a dog. You know, Valentine, actually the whole olive litter, not super highly food motivated usually. So sometimes it helps to do a little training session before a meal. Like some time has to have passed before, you know, without any food. So if they're a little hungrier, they will magically have a, a few IQ points higher when you work with a hungry dog. So... Uh, as far as the kind of treats to use, not super important, but a high value treat is going to get their attention. A little biscuity, crunchy, dry thing is usually not too enticing, but something like even leftover chicken, steak, you know, uh, nope. cut up in little bits is a great, great training treat. Even cheese is nice oftentimes. Nice. We use, you know, meat based treats. There's lots of options to use, but that's a high value treat to a dog. Not necessarily more expensive, but it is higher value to them. I like to put them in a place. Okay. Okay is the release word. I'm going to get a little excited about it, and that helps them realize, oh, okay, I should get off of here and go do the next thing. So okay is the release word, really from any command. So we'll, we'll show you some basics. So we'll do the sit command, which is sort of a yes. hand up motion. Think of it like you're luring their nose up into the air. Good. You do that, and don't say, you know, sit, 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 like if they're not doing it quickly. Uh, they just need to be... Good. You know, have a little patience. She is uh, going to be a dog that's, you know, not like highly driven. So she's not going to like jump into the commands. It's just her personality. It's not that she doesn't know the command. You just can say it once, give them the hand signal, and just be patient. Kind of help lure her a little bit at this age. Down. Down command at this Down. stage. We're really just pointing to the ground, sort of luring their nose to the ground with a treat. And then you do not give them the treat until they do the motion that you've asked for. So we wait until their belly actually rests on okay. the ground. Then we say, yes, and we give them the treat. And we say, yes, and give a dog a treat. Pretty soon the word, yes, it's just like getting a treat to them. So it's called marking the command. Good girl. Good girl. You want to say yes the second they do the right thing for you. So we're going to go from a standing yes. right to a down. Good down. They generally have an easier time going from a sit and then do a down, but it's good to practice from just a regular stand. But she does know these basic obedience things. These are two okay. you know, simple things. Oh, she missed it. You know, part of training is it's not just tricks to show off, but it's to help keep a dog under control so that they're not overwhelming to people. If they have a job to do, they're just much easier to contain, have their attention. They're not running the show, but they're sort of under your guidance and direction if they always have some little task to do. So training is really, it's not just a, I guess, a party trick. It's really to help have a well-behaved dog all around. Okay, typical place. You tell them to the place, we guide them onto it, use the leash. They relax. We tell them, okay, good job, yes, you know, mark that and give them a treat. You can give them a treat while they're just sitting there, help reinforce that uh, behavior. And then, you know, we're basically putting them in a little, a little, almost like a stay here, although we don't say stay, we just tell them place. And then after a minute, before they get off and break it, we'll get their attention and we'll give them the O and the K release word, and then we'll call them off it. down place you know stay is very much like place you basically just put a stop sign hand out this is early yet so we've worked a little bit more on place than probably stay but we can go ahead and give it a give them a demonstration show them what a stay would be like we'll try to see if we can drop the leash just in the middle of the room here getting their attention is always the first step I like to put them in a sit yeah i'm okay with a down stay we give a little stop sign hand signals, a little visual cue. Yep, yeah, now there we go. There was a little bit of body language. I said I'm gonna get up. We're gonna we're gonna be okay with this. It's an approximate, unless you went back into it, so we're just gonna, you know, it's early stages. 
an older dog, we might not tolerate that as much. We'd probably start over, but uh, very good. And then we just have her hold that stay for just a moment, and then we can pet her on the head, and we'll give her the release because she's held it for a decent amount of time and toss a treat. Let her know she can go. It's okay. Now let's do a little wait through the door, actually. Girl, she, <laughs> Sometimes they anticipate what you typically do and they'll just do something. So we're going to walk through a door. We're going to put her in a little sit. This is great to do just before you go through a doorway, any doorway, in and out of a car, in and out of a room. We walk through the doorway and then we invite them into our space. Yep. Very good. We'll take her out for a little walk out in the driveway. Okay. Of course, this is... This is the hardest part. Like a new yes, place. good. <laughs> Always be patient. And then she's early to the leash skills, really. I mean, she she's nice. She's not like a big puller or anything like that. But in time, that could happen because they're going to be more comfortable, more excited with you. Uh, but we like to keep our dogs on our left side, and we do that by giving them treats, guiding them. We don't let them walk in front of us. Then we just will periodically change directions, guide them back into the left side of us. And that's how we try to keep them walking. And she's, you know, a little all over the place right now. In time, you'll just just go for walks, and they'll they'll, they'll typically pick up on the program here. But to get them to stop pulling, uh, some dogs are you have to tug them along to get them to go with you, and some dogs always want to go on their own, kind of go ahead of you. Hard to say, you know, as much how she's going to be like. But the key is to get their attention, get them to look at you, reward that they looked at you, and just change direction and go somewhere else. And then eventually. They just realize they have to keep looking at you for guidance so they don't get stopped. Yep. Call her name. Yeah, it's probably going to go potty. So let her walk around. Just kind of giving the uh, tugging away and looking for a spot. Oh, I bet you. Look Good at that. Good girl. Good catch. Good girl. Good catch. Good potty. Yes. Go. Good job. <laughs> Come on. Oh. But she's a bit of an old soul. She's real, she's real chill. Real chill. But that's the basics of what she knows right now. She's a pretty well-mannered girl. You know, she's she's picked up on the basic obedience pretty nicely. But I think the key is with uh, Valentine is, you know, just be a little patient with her. Don't expect her to just dive into and excitedly do all the commands because she's just a slower pace kind of a dog, which we love about these dogs. This is what we kind of strive for a lot of times. Just in the breed, we like dogs that are just more chill. Just sort of uh, just want to hang out with you. There's going to be times she gets the zoomies and runs around and plays. And, Good girl. But for the most part, this is like her demeanor. Good girl. We got the flower farm in the background here. Walks good on a leash. Give her a whole little stay. See if we can back up five feet away, maybe. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, it's probably too early. <laughs> when she breaks, yeah. just bring her back to the same spot and ask for another down. Good girl. Yeah. A good little correction helps them learn what the expectation is. Good down. And now we could probably back up a few feet, not much more than that at this stage in the uh, training level. And then we reward it. We go, yes, you're holding the stay. This is good. And then we release them. Don't push them too far. As they get older, they practice this every day. Even four or five days more of practicing in short bursts, you can probably increase the distance that you get away from her and the duration and add distractions. So the three Ds of proofing a dog with the training is to add distance, distractions, and duration to the commands. And that's how you make them really reliable with training. But these are the basics. She's got it. It's just practicing them in all kinds of different uh, time, place, and manner. Yeah. <laughs> you cough up your treat? Yeah. 
She's looking for it, though. She'd like it. Yeah, we, we don't got all day, Valentine. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, just like leave it. You can just give it a little tug on the leash and say, yes. okay, we're leaving. Come on. Come on. Yep. Like I'm determined to get my treat. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. There Good girl. Go. Good job. That's pretty much it.